Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Bailouts could spark economic meltdown More ECB charge card flexing over new high-speed rail link In your letters, a response to our story against the EU We'll have your foster children Ron Lebel writes Unwarranted attack on the UK Independence Party by Labour Party in Rotherham I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. Propping up the euro could spark an economic meltdown. In a report published on Monday, Saxo Bank compared Eurozone leaders to drug users and alcoholics. Our Maserati-driving banksters are loving these stories. The politicians are cranking the euro printing press with further, whilst whole populations vanish in a puff of liquidating balance sheets and bailouts. Now, This article makes a clear statement. The eurozone is well down the road to fiscal Armageddon, and one spark could trigger a meltdown. We'll keep you briefed as this one develops. France and Italy eye costly rail link despite the EU budget row. Out with our flexible friend, the ECB charge card. It seems the French and Italians are off on a Christmas spending spree. Now, this is a classic tale of heads are in a paper bag. Monsieur Hollande and the Italian Prime Minister, votre appointment à la Commission d'Europe, Mario Monti, are off down the yellow brick road to go and build a railway. Now, at this stage, neither minister had precise figures, but estimated a requirement for some 25 billion euros. When pressed on a timescale for delivery, there was little response and further foot shuffling. It's a corker of an article, this. The links are below. Ron LaBelle writes to us, very much rattled by the recent events in Rotherham. Interestingly, Ron picks up on the news from a few months ago whereby a group of Asian men were discovered running a paedophile ring that targeted teenage white girls. Now apparently, Rotherham Council turned a blind eye to the warning signs on the whim of a Labour councillor not wanting to upset the foreign minority. Now, Ron's letter is strong, deliberate and makes interesting reading. The links are below. Now, in light of Ron's letter, and for those who missed my report on it, the story in question is on our website, entitled Against the EU? We'll have your foster children, please. It seems that Rotherham Council decided to take three children back into state care after discovering that their foster parents were members of the UK Independence Party. Now, I wonder if Cornwall Council will ban me from pitching my tent now that I'm a member of the Caravan Club. Today in our new section, a Video Library, part two of the BBC special report, Ireland, the Lost and Leaving, presented by Stacey Dooley. Well, that's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we do particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can, of course, follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is The E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Rick Timmis for The Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. Music